Hi, my name is Robin, English teacher for Core Languages, and today I'm at the Battery in beautiful Charleston, South Carolina. It is a beautiful day today. The sun is shining, the birds are chirping. So let me ask you, what are you doing right now? Yes, you, what are you doing right now? You may say, I am watching this video, or I am listening to you. When talking about things that are happening right now, we need to use what is called the present continuous tense. It is also known as the present progressive tense. And when formulating sentences in the present continuous, we need to know the formula with which to create it. It would not be correct, for example, to say, the sun shining or the birds are chirp. So in this video, I'm going to show you not only how to construct the present continuous, but also when it is appropriate to use it. So the next time someone asks you, what are you doing? Or what is happening? You can formulate the perfect English sentence. The present continuous. To form the present continuous, we will first need to review the conjugation of the verb to be. To conjugate to be, we will need to remember our personal pronouns. These are I, you, he, she, it, we, you, and they. Let's conjugate to be and feel free to repeat after me. I am. You are. He, she, it is. We are. You are. And they are. Next, we will need to create our present participle. The present participle is a combination of a verb and the verb ending ing or ing. For example, the verb walk. Walk plus ing becomes walking. Sing plus ing becomes singing. Speak plus ing becomes speaking. If the verb ends on e, like the verb ride, we drop the e when adding ing. Ride plus ing becomes riding without the e. Hide plus ing becomes hiding without the e. Write plus ing becomes writing. One-syllable verbs that are spelled with a vowel and end on a consonant, like the verb run. When we add ing, we double the consonant. Run plus ing becomes running with an extra n. Tag plus ing becomes tagging with an extra g. And hop plus ing becomes hopping with an extra p. To form the present continuous, we will now add these three elements together. Personal pronoun, the conjugated form of to be, and the present participle. For example, I am walking. You are walking. He, she, it is walking. We are walking. 
you are walking, and they are walking. Try to read the next example on your own. Excellent. Let's read it together. I am running. You are running. He, she, it is running. We are running. You are running. They are running. Let's read one more example. Again, try to read it on your own first. Very good. Let's read it together. I am eating. You are eating. He, she, it is eating. We are eating. You are eating. They are eating. Let's practice. What is she doing? She is writing. What is he doing? He is writing. Try to answer the next question on your own. What are they doing? They are writing. This is Lisa. Lisa calls her friend and asks, What are you doing? Her friend Susie answers the phone and says, I am drinking coffee. Let's look at when to use the present continuous. We use the present continuous for things that are happening right now. We also use the present continuous for things that are going to happen in the future. When using the present continuous, we often use words like now, right now, and at the moment or at this moment. When not to use the present continuous. We do not use the present continuous for things that happen over and over, or things that happen every day or every week. We do not use the present continuous for general truths, unchanging situations, or repeated actions. We do not use the present continuous for fixed arrangements, such as schedules in timetables. Let's look at an example. I drink coffee every day. Every day means that this is a habit or a repeated action. We do not use the present continuous in this example. I am drinking coffee. This means that I am drinking coffee right now. This is the correct use of the present continuous. Let's look at these pictures and figure out what are they doing? What is she doing? She is studying. What are they doing? They are fixing the car. What is he doing? He is not working. Let's look at an example of how to use the present continuous for something that is going to happen in the future. What are you doing this summer? 
I am traveling this summer. The summer is in the future. It is correct to use the present continuous in this example. Thank you for watching. I hope you now have a better understanding of when and how to use the present continuous tense. If you have more questions, feel free to comment. And if you're interested in joining one of our courses with a live instructor, feel free to reach out to us directly. I look forward to seeing you in our next video.